Hey guys, Tat here. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Evening, morning, nighttime, whatever it happens to be. Mm. Alright, what we right. got here is we are going to do a playthrough of a dungeon that I found. It's called Isengrav. Isengrave, Isengrav, something like that. Isengrav Barrow. Barrow. I need to visit a blacksmith's um, and get my armor tempered. I found it on the same site where I have this follower here, um, Galise Barkwing. It she is a very NSFW follower, but she is one of the one of the best, if not the best, followers in my opinion. And um, she's just awesome. I I hope I'm gonna be able to do a playthrough showcasing her. You know, just a. a a video series of just her. The problem with her is because she is a, a not safe for work follower, that it's it's very adult orientated. So, yeah, there'll be a an extreme amount of blurring and bleeping. Um, I'm gonna have to do some bleeping. I'm sure in this. She has got a mouth <laughs> that'll make a drunken sailor blush. I mean, she she's got a mouth on her. But it'll make you crack up and laugh. She's just got some of the funniest things she'll say. And she's a really good follower. She, she is just an awesome follower mod. I don't want to... This, this isn't a um, showcase of her, so I don't want to get it too into her. But I'm just letting you know that I'm using her. I've been... There's a new chapter. There's four chapters of hers out already. And I just downloaded chapter four. So I've been going through seeing all the new content. And I noticed on the website that there's, there's also this dungeon here. That I had never heard of so I thought I'd go ahead and just do a blind playthrough of this dungeon and um, see exactly how, how what it's all about how cool it is and stuff like that so I figured I'll just throw the throw the mod on this playthrough since I'm already doing it and just go from there so what we're going to do is hope that she doesn't say too much because blurring and bleeping and all that during editing is just a pain time-consuming and all that so what we gotta do is I'm gonna have to go real quick and make up some more poisons. I my poison my character is a a poisoning archer because I found this really cool bow. So I've been I made it into an archer and everything. But um, so is a cheerful virgin. Then it goes out and gets fucked by the world all day long. Thank you for making me have to bleep some. <laughs> but um, yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and go to my house. And um, yeah, and my. This is my total not safe for work playthrough, my profile for all this stuff. So my background pictures and all that stuff are all going to have to be blurred and, you know, everything. But, yeah, it is what it is. I just threw it on this one because I don't know if this mod has any not for safe for work content. It's on that site, but and no, it's not the LL site. But um, not all the mods on this site are adult themed. So I don't know if this one is or not. But, um, we shall find out. And it's it's not too bad. It's just a little bit of a headache in editing to blur and bleep everything. To keep the YouTube overlords happy. Gotta do that. So, let's go ahead and come over here real quick and get this stuff made. I don't know how long it is. The file size was just a little over two megabytes. So I don't think it's going to be too big of a dungeon. It was like 2.89 megabytes or something like that. So it's, it's not very big. At least I wouldn't think it is. The pictures on it, they look pretty cool. It's way up north. In the, um... By Dawnstar and stuff like that. Along the Sea of Ghosts. And it seems to me like it's full of um, Draugr is mostly what it is. So, hey, get over here so I can shut my greenhouse. You're letting all the cold air in. And let's see. I'm trying to remember what poisons I'm using and what ingredients I need to grab. I don't think I'm using the slow poison. So I don't need the river, Betty. So I'll skip going over there and grabbing that. And we'll come up here and get the other ingredients. 
I may have enough poisons. I don't know how many I've got. Um, six of those and 15 of those. I probably actually have enough. But I don't have any um, blacksmith skill or anything like that. So my archery is actually the damage I'm doing is, is fairly low. So I'm, I'm relying purely on poisoning. I got a couple of different mods that I'm trying to get to work. And they're not really wanting to work very well because they're for special edition. And I'm running the um, anniversary edition um, exe file. The 1.6 whatever. Time doesn't so a lot it. of these mods it's just saying. are not wanting to play nice. But I, I at least got the widget to show up. And it is keeping track of how many poisonings I have on my weapon. But it's not telling me. It's just appearing and disappearing when I have some. And when, they, when I don't have any, it's not telling me how many I have left. Which is the main reason why I wanted it. But one of the mods it definitely won't work on AE. So somebody in the comments said, we'll use this other mod instead with this mod it's that's that trying to get to work. And then it should all, and it kind of halfway right. works, but most features it don't work. But yeah, so this is just a pure poisoning build. Okay. And this one is going to be, see that's Mara Tapanala, Canis, and Impstool. Yeah. I have zero trust in any potion. And then agree. I've got, it's Poison Bloom, Jaren, and Death Bell. I didn't need to grab these other two. That's for the slow poison, which I'm not using on this playthrough. And the reason why, if anybody watching this knows what is going on, let, let me go ahead and do this real quick and show you. Um, I've never seen this before, and I've got many, many years with countless thousands of hours in Skyrim, and I have never seen this happen. But um, if anybody has seen this happen and knows what's causing it i'm pretty sure it's probably a mod that's doing it um it may be those two mods that i'm trying to get to work oops zero six e one a but i've already been using it for like this is my second playthrough and it wasn't doing this issue before and it's doing it now so i kind of don't think that that's the issue is those mods but w look at this okay so i've been using this poison here for like i said years and stuff like that whenever i do use poisons but it's river betty river betty death bell and bleeding crown and you can see it says it says here target moves at 50 percent speed for 114 seconds it damages the target's health by 114 points and target is 46% weaker to poison damage for 30 seconds. It's a pretty common um, poison that people use in Skyrim. It's, it's easy to get ingredients and all that stuff. But look what it says right here. Potion of slow. It doesn't say poison. It says potion. And when I make it, it actually does make a potion. It doesn't... I can't... um. I can't poison my weapon and let me just do this real quick so I don't do anything too bad here but look at whenever I try to I got my bow on whenever I try to do it you know you click it you should you know apply the poison to your weapon and boom it hits me like a potion because it says potion so <laughs> I I don't know what's going on the card reads that it's got all the effects of a poison but it says potion and it's applying like a potion and not a poison. And I have never seen those three ingredients make a potion before. They've always made a poison. I, I don't get it. I've never seen that happen. So if anybody has ever seen that happen before, when alchemy yeah, just randomly turns something from a poison into a potion, and how to prevent that from happening, or even how during a playthrough like this, how to reverse that, 
man, you'd be my lifesaver if you if you could help me figure that one out because I have I have no die. clue. I'm the very very clueless on what they could be doing it's that. Like I said, that this playthrough is almost exactly identical to the two playthroughs that I did before this one. The only difference is I threw on um, Galus here because I wanted to check out the new chapter and a different outfit are the only differences and and it's never done that before and now it started to do it so i don't get it it's very bizarre <laughs> but anyways i just thought i'd ask that i was thinking about that the other day on my next video if i still have this i wanted to ask and see if anybody knew what was going on with that because that's very bizarre now i'm moving all slow and stuff but um Okay, so this dungeon is supposed to be up there by Dawnstar somewhere, and the mod page said that it is it's between the um, Tower Stone and what was the other thing it said it was between? Now I can't remember. I'm going to have to go up there and just search. <laughs> Because I don't remember. But um, I, know, I do know the general area that it was saying it's at. And let's see. We got these in the correct spots. Yes, we do. That's correct. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Put on all that stuff. Go ahead and pray real quick. And we are good to go. So, yeah, we kind of wasted a good 10 minutes or something there. But see how it says Poison of Paralysis down there? That's the only thing I've been able to get to work on those mods. And I, that's what I wanted. That's why I got them, because I wanted a widget to tell me, you know, because when you're running either Vokri or Ordinator and stuff like that, there's the perks that give you a whole bunch more hits per application of poison. And I'm always like, do I, how many do I have left? You know, do I have to repoison now? Et cetera, et cetera. So I wanted a widget that would just tell me. And unfortunately, I got the widget to work, but I can't get it to tell me how many applications are on it. Like, oh, you got 10 left or... You know, five left, and why is everybody aggroing? I hear you. I've been wanting to kill someone. Well, then go kill it. Let's see if we can draw him over here. Oh, you didn't keep going up. Think I can get it? Nope, it's going to hit that tree. Oh, I think I actually got him. Okay, so... Get him. Got him. <laughs> Pretty far shot. Okay, come over here and land. I know it's cheesy using Jaren root poisons, but I don't want to waste time here on this guy. Kick him. Ugh. I wonder if it's going to be on the map. I guess I can look and just see if it's on the map real quick. seeing but the towers thing is still pretty far away 
let's see, the tower is over here. And I'm not seeing, I don't remember. I think it's right around in here somewhere. This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. <laughs> Funny. Like right in here, if I'm not mistaken. It's either like right here or like right here. Because I remember Tower Stone, but I don't remember the other thing that it's supposed to be between. But I'm thinking it's somewhere right around in there. Everything is funny as long as it is happening to somebody else. Now I still got a whole bunch of applications of that nasty poison on there. I should probably just shoot the arrows out and get rid of it. Because that's, that's real cheese right there using an almost 7,000 damage poison. But who knows? Maybe these enemies in here are going to be like really difficult. But let's just go ahead and get rid of all these poisons. And see, with the mod I'm trying to get to work, I should be able to clean the poison off and apply a different poison. But none of those features are working. The, the mod is this one right here. Um, poisoning extended. And the only thing I've been able to get working on it is this. And it's, it's the whole mid widget isn't even showing. And because it needs another mod to work, and the other mod that it needs is... is um is dependent on well it, it can't be s or a e it has to be special edition so i believe it's because it's skc plugin so it won't work and somebody in the comments said use this other mod with this poison extended and it'll work and it eh, it halfway works so just all these broken mods with you know going to to the new a e and i already even have anniversary edition i just when i bought special edition it was already after AE came out and that's the version it gave me I know there was a downgrade but dang turn but then a lot of the new new mods coming out they're only for anniversary edition so I was just like man what do I do which which version do I want to go with here um, right there maybe I see a Barrows thing and we are, yeah, we're right here. So this, there normally isn't a borrow over here. Borrow, barrow. Here it is, Isengrav, barrow. How far, I wasn't very far off. I was, oh, I guess I was kind of far off, but. Okay. We are going to go and get going on this. Okay, Galus, are you ready? Let's see what this dungeon's all about. I don't know what's going on in here. I am lagging out bad. There it goes. I don't know what War was up with that. War determine who's right. War determines who's left. Yeah, something in this dungeon is making me um, stutter real bad. I'm not sure what it is. I need my armor cleaned. It fucking stinks. Well, then clean it, stinker. If your armor stinks, then clean it. My alarm is... Stop. 
Why would you think we were doomed? He didn't even touch either one of us. This sucks. I got blood on my fucking arm. Well then clean it. I hear somebody walking. You're dead, fucker. No. Hmm. I got 70. I'm gonna say I don't know if I've got enough to try to get into this. There we go. Only went through four. And wow. That was a really. It looks like that's a door. That was a really profitable chest. And this one's got a trap on it. Oh, you know what? I bet you. Am I still on God mode? Yes, I was. Okay. We are just rolling in money here from these chests. I don't even know what the purpose of if this is a dungeon to run or it did say there's like a new weapon and stuff like that you get that I don't know. I think I just heard somebody walking. Yeah, I definitely hear somebody walking. Galus, get out of the way. You almost got shot right there. I really need to give her a different weapon. That weapon just does not suit her at all. <laughs> it it's just does not look like a weapon she should be using. It doesn't suit her theme. Were we already there? Is that where we came in or anything? Or... best to protect you. I see you. Fuck. Time to put you in your fucking place. Get your leg out of the way. <laughs> okay, we got a door with we need to get out of some kind of helmet. I don't know what's up there. We've got the grave here. Whoa, this is going even further down. I hope this doesn't turn into a maze. Okay, this is what we walked over. Right? Yeah. So, this isn't where we came in. Isengrav Key. Glad I came down here. 
Are you still alive, dude? No. He shouldn't have been. You usually can't search somebody if they're going to come alive. But he looks like a Draugr that would come alive. But Okay, so we got Usengrav Key. That's nothing. Now, do we want to go left towards what looks like that door? Or do we want to go this way? Let's save the door, because probably that key is for that. I see ya. Time to die, fucker. Galus, you're making me have to do a lot of bleeping. Why am I getting so laggy in here? <gasps> yeah, I am stuttering real bad in here. And I'm not sure why. I hear somebody else. I'm going to end up shooting you in the foot. Okay, nothing on that one. Oh, did that have a soul in it? No, it didn't. Glad I came in with a bunch of lockpicks. <clears throat> um, nothing good. Dang, we're getting further and further in. I'm gonna turn back if this isn't just a dead end. I'll feed you your own. Okay, you take care of that one. I'm gonna get this guy. Glad I went and made more potions. I should take the perk that gives me twice as many potions. But I wanted a reason to, for roleplay purposes and stuff to have to go back and, you know, farm my, my crops and stuff like that. Rather than just right away having, you know, 80 potions or something. The job's done. Yeah, it is. Okay, hopefully this is just another dead-end room and not... dead.
And I know this potion or this poison is pretty cheesy also. The um the paralyzing one. <clears throat> That's why I had the ingredients for the slow. Because it, it it's a little bit more um whatever where you gotta sit there and it still deal with the enemy at least a little bit. But for some reason it's making a potion instead of poison. But I also have another a really cool bow that I found that that's really good with this um, poison. And what it does is whenever you shoot an enemy, like, you know, I, I mainly got the bow for when I'm playing through the Conquest of Skyrim because that is such a fun mod. But what the bow does is you shoot somebody with it and it has like a ice burst effect i think it's called ice breaker or something bow i don't remember but basically you hit somebody with it and there's like an ice burst on the enemy and it knocks all their clothes off kind of like disarm <laughs> and it's really cool for this this poison right here because you shoot somebody with it and it knocks all their clothes off so they have no armor now, <clears throat> and they're just sitting on the ground with no armor. Come on. <clears throat> and the poison is doing damage to them. I, I want to get on this guy here. Oh, he's not dead yet. Wow. Why am I doing no damage to him? That should kill him. There we go. Um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So it knocks all their clothes off. So they're they're left without any kind of defense from armor. And this is where we came in, right? Yeah. And they're just stuck on the ground with no no defenses. And the poison is, is a damage over time poison like that. So it really helps your soldiers whenever you're playing the Conquest of Skyrim mod. It helps your soldiers out a lot because you... You're knocking a whole bunch of enemies down. You just go from enemy to enemy to enemy. And it knocks all their armor off for your soldiers. And it paralyzes them and puts a dot on them. So now, they're in a lot worse shape. And we went that way already. And, okay, there's that one over there. I need to make a save here. So yeah, that's why I liked this poison. But I really prefer the slow poison. The slow with the... with the It slows them down. So at least they can still have a, a fighting chance against you. I, I understand this this poison is, is quite cheesy, and so is the Jaren root one, but I don't care. I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> so, this cannot be, it requires a key to open, so we're missing a key from somewhere. Great. Okay, so. We came from this way, right? Yes. So we came down this way. To the left is where we need to go. We went... Did we go straight first or right first? And I don't know. We're going to have to go through all of this shit. Okay, that right there, I remember, we just ran past. Which, this is probably where it's at because down the other way is where we got the first key. So, now did we get that other key out of a chest or off an enemy? I don't remember if we got that first key from an enemy or, or a, a chest. Because most likely the second one is the same thing. On an enemy or in a chest. I think it was in a chest. What? No, it was in that that um, Draugr that was in the coffin. That I said looks like he should come alive, but he doesn't. So it was on an enemy. Let me just check that out. Empty. Yeah, those guys don't have any... guy does 
See, I would have thought it would have been on this guy. Because he's like in the same type of coffin. Hmm. If... If we just cannot find this fucking thing, I can always just... Kind of like console one in or something, but... I prefer not to do that. I mean, you would think you'd be at the end of the section you're in. So if this was the end section, you would think it would have been in here. Galus, where's it at? And that's the way we go out. One of some weird shit where we gotta like melt this stuff or something. What mod does that? Man, I can't remember now. There was a mod I used to to play on Legendary, and it had there was like a an old ship that was um stuck. It was on Solstheim, stuck in the ice, and it was inhabited by um Reichlings. But one of the parts of it, you had to do this and melt the ice back so you can get to the next part of it. But obviously that's not what's going on here. Which I thought was a really, really cool feature. Okay, so I'm not seeing any doors. I'm not seeing anything. I don't know, maybe it is in the first section. Where the other one was at, and they're both in the first section. And that's back to this. Unless... Wait a second, what's that? Why is this one not... You would think somebody would pop out of that, right? Kind of like they did out of this one. How many words do I have of... I've got two words. Bruce? I'm wondering if something bugged out here and it's on the drogger that's in here. Because this definitely looks like it should pop open. Right here. Is there a button anywhere? Galus, use your big ass sword on that. Yeah, I'm not... I'm, I bet you that's what it is. For some reason, that didn't open up. I mean, I may be wrong, but that definitely looks like it should open. And whatever was supposed to trigger that thing opening, it didn't do it. Okay, so let's... It's getting close to midnight and we're sober. What the fuck is wrong with this picture? That's where we came from, so... This was the first way. 
Yeah, and you know, the first key being on a Draugr, it kind of tells me that most likely the second key is on the Draugr. This at the end of the section, like this one, this Draugr's at the end. And it looks to me like the same type of coffin. The two things right there and there that look like you could hide a button right there. That looks like the same type of coffin, which isn't one of those on its side. But yeah, Draugr Deathlord at the end of a section had the key. And you go down that other pathway and at the end of the section, there's a coffin that it isn't busted up. I'm going to go back and try to hit it with a weapon. I don't really know if I have any kind of weapon besides a bow on me. Shouting at it and doing flames on it didn't do anything. There's no pull keys or pull chains or anything. Which would be another place for something like that to be hidden. Now another thing that sometimes is like if that coffin has to be opened up, there may be a trigger mechanism, like a pull chain or something, at the end when you go down a little path like this. So let's keep our eye open for some kind of a pull chain. A hidden button. And if, if I don't find anything going through right here real quick, what we'll do is I'll go and try to hit it with a weapon. And if that doesn't do it, then I'll just go into the console thing and I'll just get the key. Or we're going to spend, you know, right here, look, Isengrove key. I, I just caught that out of the corner of my eye as I was panning down like this. Okay, good. That might actually trigger that other coffin to open up now. Or maybe that's just decorative and it's supposed to just be a be a, a permanently sealed coffin. Okay, good. We found it. I didn't want to console something in because anybody else playing through this and they're looking for the answers to things. You know, when I know when I watch playthroughs, like, well, why didn't you show me where to get this key or how to do this? You know, so I didn't want to just console it in if I didn't have to. I wanted to show where to get everything. But I don't know where to get everything because this is my first playthrough also. Okay. Okay, potion, potion. You deal with it. Can you please kill something? And this should just go back to the beginning, yes. Okay, Galus, did you kill it? Good. You actually did kill it. Something's here. Yeah, I just shot it. Okay, kill it so I don't, I, I don't want to go through all my potions here. Now, is this... No. Go from the left also. Okay, I'm going to start getting lost here. <laughs> okay, we came down this way. There's a door there, so these aren't connected, they're two separate paths. Okay, let's check this. Whoop. I don't 
see anything here. Gators, watch out. Watch your back. We are not alone. Okay, another one just like the other. Did you get injured, did you? No, I didn't. Why would you think I did? I'm over here. You're the one fighting him. Okay, good. So both of these paths don't go anywhere. That's less for us to get lost in. Okay, this goes up here. Okay, so it looks to me like there's only one way to go, and that's through that gate. Which was to the left right here. Yeah, okay. Through the gate. There's going to be a lot of... Galus, don't get stuck on this side of the thing or you're going to leave me fighting all of them by myself. And you just did. Something's coming. Stuck behind that. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen when I saw this. Gatus, you have a bow. Oh, I, I got lucky hitting that other one. I knew this was going to happen. I was thinking before that to, you know, get into her dialogue and command her to walk in there. I think I got one in on him. <laughs> what a pain. What a pain. Okay, I'm going to cheese this. Glad I got that other poison. Oh. 
There. <laughs> I know, I know, I had to cheese it. I eventually would have got it. I have plenty of money to keep resurrecting. I'm so tired. Um, another thing that doesn't help is I'm out of soul gems and I am out of charge. Zero four, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So where is the pull switch? I should have put that poison on when I saw all these coffins in a room with the gate on it. I knew that's what was going to happen. Um, Galus, where'd she go? There she is. Why don't you pull the thing? You're out there by it. Dingus. It's like you're out there by the switch. Pull it. Yeah, I'm not seeing the pull switch anywhere. Or for this one either. I hear a Draugr walking. Oh, right there. Duh. Okay, you ready? Why don't you get in here before I pull any more things? Get over here. Get this. Get in here. are filled. Man, I can't get any gems that are filled. Lesser hide bracers. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. I'm off of that poison now. Is that an ebony bow? Ancient Nord. <clears throat> yeah, 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 I know. You know what? You are not working correctly. Thought I had things to where this doesn't affect you when you're in a dungeon. Okay, nothing there. Come on, come back over here. that disarm? That's what it sounded like.
Galus, you almost got shot again. Damn, this dude's got... There's 1,200 HP. Oh, 1,290 HP on that dude. Is that where we came from? Yes. Okay. Got a door and a door. And then the, obviously the main gate. Okay, let's go right first. Why did it sound like there's one over here? There's a pull chain there. Dude, die! What the hell? Did it finally die? <laughs> what the heck was up with that? That's the gate that I said is probably the main gate we got to go through. There's probably two of them. There's going to be one in each branch here. There's probably going to be one up at the top. Would be my guess. There's going to be another pull chain over here. Maybe I'm wrong, but that would be my guess. We're down to 25 potions. This is just going to be treasure in here would be my guess because usually things you need to progress aren't behind a you know something like this just in case characters don't have lock picking skill or don't have lock picks it doesn't lock you out from being able to progress that's usually what they do didn't I just poison my thing I thought I did yeah it's just oh there it is any of you have a soul? No. Mend broken bones, I'll take that. Which I am really surprised none of those dudes... Oh, they did. A bruised left arm, bruised left leg, bruised, bruised. A cracked left arm. And a cut. Well... Look, here's... Frostbite, Frostbite. I'm pretty sure the mod thing said it has new spells also. I know it said there's a new weapon. But. I forgot to bring in anything for wounds. Um, 6F9931. That should be firewood. Okay. I'm surprised I didn't drop my weapon. And what, what did I pick up? Oh, I could have just used that to... Let's just go ahead and use it. Okay. I'm going to have to leave the cut and everything else alone because I didn't bring anything for covering wounds and stitching wounds and stuff. I could go into my house. It's in my house right now, but... 
we're not that beat up, so. Is this the final boss? He's immune to the paralysis. Okay, you fight him. I'm going to see if anybody else pops open here. Or pops up, not open. You better hit me harder than that. Ha! Uh, she just called you a biatch for that one. <laughs> you hit her with a breath shake. You better hit me harder than that. Isengrav Deathlord. Look at that. He's got less HP than that Draugr Deathlord in the other room. Like by half. It's a Nilf egg. What is that? A, a Nifle egg. Is that something from this mod or is that something from... It almost sounds like an ingredient, but I don't have it. It sounds like a weapon. Okay. Target takes 34 points of frost damage to health and stamina over one second. Damage of 19. Knife. Niffle. Niffle egg. Niffle. Niffle egg. I don't know how to say it. Cool. All right. Whoa, look at all these chests. You going to give us anything good? Lock pick. Sparks, frost cloak, gold, amethyst. Don't need those. What are those? Cloak, ebony flesh, dragon bones, pearls. Look at all these gems. Gold ingots. Okay. Is this cold? Okay, that looks like it's it. Keep going this way. Is this going to pop out where I said that's a door? Probably. Hey, homie, you look like a, a teller at a movie theater when you come up here to buy a ticket to go in. <laughs> um, is that it? Let's see. I guess we go this way. Well, if this is the beginning of the dungeon, I'm saying we, I'm sure we got to keep going up. Usually is what you got to do. It seems like a lot of the stuttering has, has stopped. I wonder if the computer was doing something in the background or something. Downloading something, doing something. Man, when I first came to that room right there. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole dungeon. Yeah, like I said, I didn't think it was going to be very big. The It was only 2.89 megs. Um, I'm going to go over... Here, where I can s uh, stay warm. And...
Where is the vendor at? There he is. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you got for it's sale? not like my poaching is hurting anyone. What have you got for sale? The Jarl can hardly eat every deer, now can he? Take a look. That was jarring. <laughs> the male synthesized voice and then his voice kicked in. Um, I'll take those. I need that for alcohol to clean my wounds. Okay, that's everything. Alright, so my thoughts on the mod. It's pretty fun for just a short little, you know, half an hour, 45 minute. We're at a, an hour and six minutes here. And I blabbed a lot at the beginning and, and everything, so. You never fucking farted before. Yeah, yeah, you just farted. <laughs> she has a, she's a riot. So they're cutting cheese and don't act like you never farted. But yeah, um, a good half hour, 45 minutes. There wasn't really too much difficult puzzle solving or anything. Um, just finding that second key was a little bit whatever, but if I... wonder what caused a ship like this to wreck. Um, if I wasn't busy recording and everything and it was paying more attention, I probably would have saw it. Maybe not being inside of a bowl like that, but yeah, we found it eventually. I'm glad I was able to find it and not have to console it in. It is cold here. There are a lot of areas to explore along the sea of those that um, are not marked on the map. Yeah, because like I said, anybody watching this, I know when I watch playthroughs when I'm stuck on, on a mod somewhere, on a quest, you know, I want to watch somebody's playthrough so I can see how I'm supposed to get past a certain part. And if they just console their way through or console in a key or whatever, it's like, pfft, that defeated the purpose of watching the video, right? So I'm glad I was able to do that for all you guys and not have to console things so you can see where all the the keys are at, the, the special weapon. The final boss, uh I'm sorry, mod author, I gotta say it was a disappointment. You know, that thing had half the HP of just a Draugr Deathlord that I encountered like two rooms before this. And he was a complete pushover. You know, even though at the end there I did use paralysis potion on him or poison, but still, I mean, he was he was a pushover. He could have been a lot more difficult of a, of a boss. But other than that, I mean, it's a cute little... And get drunk. What are you yakking about? Getting drunk? Um, yeah, it, it could have been a little bit tougher of a boss. It, it's a pretty fun little quick, um, quick dungeon. Like I said, I'd never heard of it before. I saw it on the mod page when I downloaded the chapter four for her, which chapter five is supposed to come out like within the next, I think he said month or something like that. And one thing about her is if you go over here to this we need to discuss a couple things hearing that is never good what is it you need rather than have um rather than have like an mcm that like has a typed out everything about the mod the about the the this the that um i have journals from kaden to help me answer your questions i'm not going to speak with you softly and kiss your ass the answers I give you come directly from him. The mod author, you know, put everything into dialogue with Galus. So all the questions you have... What is it you want to know? And stuff like that is, you know, you can ask her all these questions here. So this one right here is funny. Why is sex mod? So why is this a sex mod? It's a fucking insult to label this as a sex mod. Is The Witcher a sex game because it has sex in it? No, so stop with the ignorance. Funny how many people act like a bitch about sex in a mod. And they're fine with the murder in the game. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So what there's you know? there's your answers to why is this a sex mod. Um, But yeah, what's plan? How many chapters will there be, I think? How is many chapters will there be? Honestly? I have no idea. At the moment, I have all the information written up to Chapter 8. So, all the information up to Chapter 8 so far, and this is Chapter 4. Okay. What is it you want to know? I try to download these as soon as new chapters come out. He's very active, and it's, it's just constantly coming out with more content. And I, one of these things I think said here, Chapter 5, or maybe I read it in the comments, is coming out 
like within the month or something. So we'll have another chapter coming along. What if I don't like certain features? That was the wrong one. What I was. if I was to tell you that I don't give a fuck? This was not created for you personally, nor do I get paid to do this. There is a fix for it though. And install the fucking mod and move on. <laughs> and if it makes you feel better to leave a comment telling of your departure, like a douche, by all means do it. <laughs> there you okay. go. What is it you want to know? So you got to admit, all the things people would say in comments, and as a mod author, you have to respond to and stuff. He just put it into dialogue, into the character and stuff. Is Here's your answers. I don't give an F, I, you know. Um, what is... Is it planned for the future? for the future? There is still a lot of my story to tell. It's not always set in stone. As you may have already seen, sometimes a change of course is needed. Okay. What is it you want to know? Um... Why do you see mean at times? mean at times? I treat other people the way I'm treated. And if someone is wrong about something and keeps trying to tell me they are not, well, yeah, it wears on me. Don't try and tell me that this mod is doing something it's not. I built this fucking thing. I know what it does. I have some emails telling me they don't like the mod. Or that some of the words I use during sex hurts their feelings. So let me be very clear on this. I give zero fucks about your feelings. And if you're going to be disrespectful to me, I promise to return the favor. <laughs> okay. What is it you want to know? And this got implemented in number four. This stuff wasn't in five. What about Galus? What about you, Galus? Well, to put it bluntly, I'm the best companion in the game. I know, you're going to try and defend the out-of-date followers. What about the blue cat, or the drunken woman you find in the stables? Sophia Inigo? Fine. Let me give you just a few things I can do. I'm listening. Let's start out with my interactions with others. I have a scene randomizer that creates scenes with over 80% of the people in the game. The full combination of scenes that I can interact in is over 58,000 scenes. These scenes run four times a week. In game weeks, of course. So, you would have to play over 270 in game years to have the possibility to see all the scenes I'm in. And I could stop right there and it's game over, but I won't. I can kiss you anytime I want, without you asking. I get myself laid at the taverns on the weekends. I have my own sex system, and I'm not some chump that's gonna kiss your ass when I'm with you. So make sure if you're going to compare me, that they can at least come close to me. I'm a steak dinner, stop comparing me to a fucking cheeseburger. <laughs> okay, what is it you want to know? Okay, so there you have it. Shots fired at Inigo and Sophia. <laughs> and I don't remember exactly what the mod page said. I think it's either 20,000 or 60,000 or something, some stupid number of um, custom dialogue lines. I mean, it's just insane. This, she's easily probably my favorite, um, favorite follower mod. But, you know, you, you, it is an adult mod, so you got to be ready for adult content and stuff. So, if, if you're okay with adult content in your game, and like she said, are you going to call The Witcher a sex game just because it has sex in it? You know, no. You know, are you going to call Mass Effect a sex game? It's got sex in it. That doesn't mean it's a sex game. So, yeah, her mod, it definitely has sex. You know, there's, there is no doubt about that. It, it does have adult content. And like I said, her mouth, she wasn't too bad here. It's usually real bad when you go to towns and stuff. And she's interacting with other NPCs and things. And, but even just not wandering, she usually has a really, really bad mouth. And it's one, of, what it's one of the things that makes her really great. You know, it's just hearing the random crap that comes out of her mouth and stuff. Like I said, she'll make a drunken sailor blush. She's, she's got a mouth on her. You know, so if you're okay with all that stuff, I, I'm going to do some kind of a playthrough with her. Like I said, new chapters are always coming out, so my, my playthrough is going to be outdated, and I'll figure something out, though. But she's definitely top-tier um, follower. There's, there's no doubt about that. She's got some really, really cool... Um, maybe I'll do the playthrough of it, but she's got really cool interactions with Serana. You know, and they get into it, and man, she does not like Serana. It, it is absolutely hilarious. But yeah... Um, 
back to this mod rather than Galus. Um, again, really fun, quite short, but if you just want to throw something on to go and do just a good half hour, 45 minutes of dungeon crawling um, and get a new dagger, I'm not really sure how good this dagger is going to be. Um, if it's the thought that counts, well, I should probably be in jail. <laughs> um, if you're playing some kind of a sneak, an assassin or something like that, it might be kind of fun to give this dagger a shot. You know, I don't have another stall rim dagger to see what the damage equivalency is, but yeah, 34 points is pretty high. How are we doing on health potions? For frost damage and, you know, stuff, so it's got a pretty high enchantment damage on it. And it looks pretty cool. But yeah, other than that, if, if, if you're just looking for something to do, like I said, for a good half hour or so, and you want to kill some time, just go ahead and throw this mod on there. Take a day off this weekend. Go ahead and throw this mod on there and just go do a quick dungeon crawl. Even if it's, even if it's just to get that dagger, if you're going to do a um, some kind of assassin playthrough. This, this author has a couple of other mods that I want to give a try. There was another one. I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically... Um, it was a Dwemer Stargate, basically. And he said it was inspired by the, the TV, the movie, and the show Stargate. And what it is, is there's like under, underneath in this dungeon or you something. I'm a handful, but that's why you got two hands. Um, it's like a Stargate. And you, know, each, each, you dial it in or whatever, and it takes you to different new lands. So I don't know how many new lands it's got. But, you know, the, the, the download's a pretty good size, so it must have some a lot of content in it he did say it is a work in progress so expect some bugs here and there but i i definitely want to give that one a try that sounds like a really cool idea you know a dwemer stargate and you know kind of like in the, the tv show and the movie and stuff you can go to like different worlds by going through you just dial it in you know the address or whatever basically to this other world and you just step through and, and you know you go to these other places so i want to give that one a try and see what other kind of mods he's got that seem like they might be kind of cool but yeah i have no complaints about this really the only thing that i think could have been done is that final boss there could have been a little bit more there even if it was like red eagle and gave you you know some some minions around there you had to fight also but just having a half strength Draugr Deathlord as your final boss. I mean, that's kind of along the same lines of Mass Effect 3 with Marauder Shields as their final boss, which is kind of cheesy, you know, that's like, that's the final boss, really? Marauder Shields? You know, and, and in this, it's like, really, that's the final boss? I mean, that room that I got stuck in with all those Draugr was significantly harder than the final boss. So other than that, yeah, pretty cool, you know, for just a quick little mod, but I'm going to go ahead and cut that off here. It's we're going on like an hour and 20 minutes for this episode, so it's going to be a quite a long upload for me. I don't have very fast internet, and this is going to take me a couple of days just to upload this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. Thank you for watching, <clears throat> and yeah, I hope to see you in my next playthroughs. Well, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button and also consider hitting that subscribe button. Again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in future episodes.